like to call that Friday <laughs> Eve on the morning show because it sounds better, but I'm Andrea Mock and we are talking back to school and getting kids excited about reading, Darcy. Yes, yeah, students are heading back to school with a new initiative at an elementary school in Richland County that's aiming at making reading fun. News 19's Sam Perez shows us how a new book vending machine is encouraging more students to read. Satchel Ford Elementary is gearing up for a new school year. On this year's agenda, lots of reading. And we're always looking for ways to get more books in their hands. Librarian Julia Choate came up with the idea to purchase a book vending machine. She's hoping this will be a fun way to encourage students to read. Getting books into our students' hands matters because whether they are looking at the pictures, looking at the print, just seeing it is going to help our students become better readers. Which they can do with practice. Quincy Moore from the State Department of Education says encouraging reading early is helpful. We just find a, a lot in South Carolina that our children, it's not that they cannot learn, they just hadn't had the opportunity to have books and things in the home. That's what the machine will do. Students will be able to take whatever book they want home for free. All the kids need to do is earn a token, put it in the machine, choose their selection, and get their book. We can use them for good character, you know, making good choices in the hall, being a good friend, um, showing compassion. And for good grades. Principal Matthew Scandrell says this machine can also help students transition back to class. This is the first time in two years that we that parents are actually going to be able to walk in and see the kids rooms and so it's a great way to break the ice with both the parents and the students. The machine will be filled with new and gently used books. Reporting in Columbia, Sam Perez, News 19, WLTX. Satchel Ford heads back to class on Tuesday, but the students started using this new book vending machine during registration. Now that is cool. I mean, I thought a soda machine was cool when I went to school, but now we got books. Pretty cool. All right, the need for reading, of course, is so crucial here in South Carolina and for all students with the State Department of Education data from as far back as 2016 shows students from third to eighth grade are falling behind in standardized tests, which measure reading comprehension year after year. The state says some students need intensive remediation to get back up to speed. Some of the lowest scores in the Midlands were in Lee, Lexington, and Orangeburg counties. Still, students have been able to make some progress and go to the next grade as district and state leaders work to still find a solution to falling behind on reading. 